Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video where today I'm doing my pre-season predictions for the 2023-24 Northwest Counties Division 1 North, South and Premier Division with the help of a very special guest. Okay, so I'm here with Joe. Would you just like to introduce yourself and tell the people where they can find you? Hi, so my name's Joe, uh, Joe Marshall. You can find me on uh, on Twitter and Instagram at All Sport Joe. Um, I'm a big non-league fan. Um, write lots of blogs regarding non-league football, football in general, uh, blogs of ground hops of different grounds across uh, the country, not just non-league, um, football league too, hoping to branch out abroad next season as well. So at All Sport Joe on the socials. And uh, I believe, is it a West Didsbury fan? And is it Sheffield Wednesday as well? Yes, so primarily Sheffield Wednesday. Um, but my uh, love of um, non-league comes through West. So um, that's the team that I follow in the North West Counties, yeah. And uh, they're going to be relevant to uh, what we're talking about today. Going to be putting your non-league knowledge and mine to the test as well. Going to be doing some uh, predictions for the upcoming 23-24 uh, Northwest Counties season going to be covering all the leagues so um, I think just yeah kick it off right um, let's see you know what we're going to predict for uh, for the season it's a very competitive league by the looks of it on paper anyway but it's it's so difficult to predict this sort of level of football you know anyone can beat anyone anyone can end up anywhere in the table um, but who have you gone for as the uh, the last place team in the Premier Division? Um, so to be honest, it, it was quite hard. It, like you say, it will be quite a tough league this year. Um, and trying to pick a team that I think will will finish bottom of the league was, was tricky. Um, in the end, um, I did go for Bursko. Um, obviously, last season, finished 24th. Um, I do think they're going to finish similar next season as well. Um, I know they've had a managerial change, um, but I don't think it's going to help them too much in terms of helping them climb the league next season. Yeah, I've gone the same. I've put Bursko dead last. Uh, they're one of those teams that they seem to struggle every year. They're there or thereabouts. Um, and they've not got the best setup in the world either. So I, I could see them going down, to be fair. Obviously, you don't, you know, no one wants to come last, but I think, you know, someone's got to be. And I think it probably will be Bursko's time to to go down this season. So moving up, uh, 23rd, who have you gone for? 23rd, I've put Squires Gate. Um, no particular reason. They've obviously struggled a little bit uh, last season. Um, they didn't end the season particularly well, from what I can recall. Um, and similar reasons, you know, it is a tricky league. It's a tough one. Um, but there have to be some teams that come down there. Um, so I've gone for those. Yeah, I think I've put them around a similar position, but I've gone Kendall Town, 23rd. Um, again, you know, they've only sort of come down in the last few years, but I think they struggled a little bit last season, if I seem to remember. Again, the, I often find it's the teams that are in like the poor sort of catchment areas, so where they're located in the country, being sort of up in the Lake District, where Cumbria, um, it's not the easiest area for them to attract players. Again, they've not got the best sort of setup in terms of ground. I could I could see them potentially slipping through the trap door, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I've gone Squires Gate 22nd. As well, so I think they'll be down there. Um, who have you, who have you put there? So, 22nd, I've put Cheadle Town. Um, okay. obviously, you came up last year in the uh, Division One South playoffs. Um, not a bad side, but it'd be uh, interesting to see how they can adapt to the step up. Um, I just think that there are better teams than them. I saw them a couple of times last year. Um, obviously, must be quite good in order to get promoted, but when they times I saw them didn't really impress me too much. Yeah, um, it's is, it is so difficult to predict how some of these teams getting promoted will will fare in the league. Some of them do really well, like we saw um, we saw Barry last season, obviously it's very different circumstances, you know, they were up near the top of the table, but it's difficult to predict. I mean, I, I don't think Cheadle will get relegated. I think there's um, I've not really got much basis for a lot of these predictions because it's, <laughs> as we say, it's so difficult to say because players are chopping and changing every week and you, you just don't know, you know, we're still in pre-season at the moment, you just don't know really where, where teams are going to are going to finish until you properly get into the bulk of the season. But 21st, uh, I put Squires Gate 22nd, 21st, I've gone Litherland. I think they they nearly went down a few years ago, so I think they might be down there again. Um, 
21st, what have you gone for? I've put Earlham in 21st place. Um, again, it's difficult to say, and there's not really much other than just vibes, really, based off, uh, <laughs> based off uh, some, of, some of these um, predictions. Um, but, you know, I just think, you know, the, the league is getting... The, the sort of size of the teams in the league are getting bigger um, with the likes of Berry, and we'll come on to the teams that have come down from the uh, Northern Prem, yeah. uh, West and all the leagues in a moment. But um, I just think that the, the budgets of some teams are in this league are quite large now and it will start to knock on effect on, on the teams that haven't quite got that playing budget. So I do think Earl I'm going to struggle to put them in 21st place. Um, I'm going to touch on who I put 20th in a, in a sec because we talk, we spoke about this earlier off camera and on uh, over uh, Twitter DMs and stuff. But I've put uh, yeah I put Withenshaw 20th. I think you you said you think they'll finish a lot higher. Mm -hmm. Who've you gone for that spot? So for 20th, I've gone Chatterton. Similar reasons to Cheadle. Why I've put Cheadle lower really. You know teams could come up and and they can do really really well. Um, but you know, from what I, I did see Chatterton uh, in the playoff final against Helens last year, um, and uh, you can't really base too much off one game, and they, they played quite well, but it will be a step up, and you know there are lots of good teams in the league, so I don't know how well they'll fare. So I've gone for 20th Chatterton. Yeah, like I said, I've gone with and short again. I, I think pretty much for the top, uh, well, I, I think from pretty much 21st all the way up to maybe... <laughs> Um, tenth. I don't really have much of a reasoning for any of the placements of these, but nineteenth, I've gone Pilkington. Okay, yeah, I've gone. I've got FC Alaman for nineteenth. I've put Pilkington a little bit higher, not much higher, um, but like you say, the from from around either, either sort of eighth to probably sixteenth, seventeenth, you, you could put many of those teams in any sort of order. I think um, they're so interchangeable. Um, but I've got Isle of Man 19th. Um, they didn't really kick on uh, last season as I think lots were expecting them to um, after promotion the season before. Um, I don't know if there's going to be much progression there next season either. Um, I think they'll survive, um, but it all depends. A lot of their season depends really on um, the weather in the winter and how that has a knock-on effect in terms of games in the springtime. If, if there's a pleasant winter and they can play the games... Um, in this scheduled times that they want to, um, they could probably finish higher mid table. But I've gone, uh, gone for nineteenth for Isle of Man. Yeah, they seem like one of those sides that could that could really kick on and sort of challenge near the top. You know, they've got the sort of, um, well, they did originally have the fan base. I know it's dwindled a little little bit, and you know they've got a whole island as a catchment area, <laughs> albeit not a very big one. But um, yeah, they sort of shocked me in the sense of how low they, they finished last season. It'd be interesting to see if they can kick on. Um, I've not put them too much higher, but I'm going to rattle through a few of these just for the sake of um, sake of brevity. But I said Pilkington 19th, and then it's uh, Cheadle it, Town in 18th, Bun Oldswick 17th, and I've put Isle of Man in 16th. So going up from there, I've got Bun Oldswick in 18th, Lower Breck 17th, Pilkington 16th. And any particular reason for those, or is it just vibes again? <laughs> again, it's vibes, and they could chop and change um, very easily. And then uh, for me, so I've got Lower Breck 15th, um, Erlim 14th. I, I just see them, I don't see them being really in trouble, to be honest. Um, Longridge 13th, Chadderton 12th. I don't know, I've just, I've just got this feeling about Chadderton that I think they're going to do something um decent next season and I think they're going to be well clear of it I don't know why again it's just vibes as you say and then uh Paddy M 11th um who have you got going up from there so from 15th uh Paddy M 15th <clears throat> uh, Longridge 14th I put Kendall as high as 13th they did right. uh, I think they had a poor start to last season but kicked on towards the end a little bit I think they might try and momentum wise you know you know push on this season uh, so Kendall 13th Netherland 12th a little bit higher than yourself um it's a really horrible place to go, um, the ground and stuff. But um, I think that could work in their favour. Um, and they had a quite a strong end to last season. So eleven and twelfth. Um, how hard did you get Robbie? Then did you get up to tenth? Uh, yeah. So I've I went up to Padium and eleventh. So I'll just touch back on on those. I mean, Padium and Longridge are two teams that I know really well. I've visited them loads. Longridge were a weird one last season. They had a lot of postponements, if I seem to remember, and they had to play a lot of games in a short amount of time. I think. 
Um, I think if they've got obviously a clear season, you never know how these postponements are going to go and stuff. But if they have like a clear run where they're playing their games at a usual pace, I think they could have a decent season. Um, I know Ashi, um, he's a good coach, really good manager at that level. They play some really good stuff. Obviously, they've got Jack Anderton back as well, who's far too good for that level, I think. He was at FC United for a bit. Uh, Padium as well, I think on paper, they've got a decent squad, I think enough to sort of maybe challenge top half. Um, so by all means, two of those, I know it's sort of local bias for me being Ryan Lancashire, but I think, you know, I've put them sort of mid table, but I think they do have the potential to push on if they get sort of their, uh, their recruitment right and stuff. Uh, talking of bias, um, my <laughs> 11th place team, I've put West Isbury and Um So, um, similar sort of level as last season, but a couple of places below um, where they finish. I think that's mainly because the quality at the top of the league um, has will have a knock-on effect to the teams that were in that sort of just outside the sort of top five or six um, bracket. I think it's that, that area now is going to be filled with a lot of good teams. Um, and just based on the way that West finished last season, um, once they were at the FA Vars, um, the league form kind of fell off massively. Um, you don't know how much hangovers affect um, seasons, you know, going in, in non-league, but um, based off the end of last season, I don't fancy West to do too much in terms of a, a promotion push. Maybe save it all for the Cups again, which is fine by me. Yeah. yeah, cup runs are always good, exciting. And um, yeah, I think I, I've gone for West in 10th. Um, so you said you're biased, putting them in 11th. I've put them even a place higher. I think you could... <laughs> you could finish quite strong. I, I just see you as a sort of, again, there's no real reason behind it, but I see you as the, the top of that sort of mid-table pack, even though you only, was it you came into the league, was it last season? Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I see you as one of those clubs that are likely to challenge once sort of the, the bigger clubs filter out of the division over the next couple of years and providing too many bigger ones don't come down. I could see you sort of being up there in playoff contention. Um, and again, I think just mainly because I've had got you on this, I think uh, showing a little bit of uh, favouritism towards him. But... Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so going up into the um, very much the top part of the table, who have you got sort of, um, I'm looking at ninth, uh, well, I think it would be tenth for you sort of I'm on the, uh, the playoffs. Tenth. Yeah, so it's tenth. Um, so I've got within Shore Town as tenth. It's an interesting one because they finished oh. third last season. Um but they've had a bit of a turbulent uh, few weeks, really, in the sense of loss of manager. Um, but it, a low's gone to Bury. It would yes. be a big loss for them. Um, and I believe one or two others that have left as well uh, to Staley Ridge, along with the manager. So um, I feel like they're going to... They've still got the basis of a good squad in terms of mid-table. Um, and I think you know, they'll, they'll be OK. But I don't think they'll be as high as they were last season. I think low will be a big loss for them. So I've put them as low as 10th. Um, above that, I've got Charlie Richard in ninth. Um, a side that really, we talk about catchment areas, it's, I don't even, I barely even know where it is, Charlie Richard. I know it's a service station. It is a service, um, service station, that's just about it. It's, uh, it's not far from Chorley, I think. So, it's, you know, in that sort of, that area, it's not, there's not a bad pool of talent, but, they, you know, it's, it's not a, a team that really stands out. And so you look at the table and suddenly they're doing really, really well. Mm. Um the big loss, obviously, will be Carl Grimshaw. Um, I believe he's left now. That's 500 goals gone. Um, but from what I've seen, they've, they've done well to replace him. So I can still see Charnock being up, up in ninth. That's my 10th and ninth teams. You don't happen to know if um, Jordan Dar's still knocking about at Charnock? Because he was he was some player when I seen him he, up there in the, um, the goal-scoring charts as well. I know he picked up a nasty injury, I think it was, to the towards the end of uh, season... Uh, might, have even been, might have even been season before last, but um, I don't know if he's still about there. But if he is, he's way too good for that level. If they kept hold of him, he'd be. I think they'll be a decent force next season. Um, back on uh, that Withenshaw Town one, I think it was Aaron Dwyer that one of the players that they lost to Stanley. Yeah. Again, another player that's just that's too good for Northwest County's level. Level he was doing really well with Macclesfield. Uh, season before last as well. Um, looking at mine, so I said 10th was West Didsbury, going up from there. Westwich A's in 9th, AFC Liverpool 8th, Charlotte Richards 7th. Where did you go up to? 
so I got to ninth with oh, Charlotte okay. Richards. I've skipped, I've skipped um, a few then, but um, Charlotte Richards well, is seventh. It doesn't really matter that I missed you skipped a few because um, I've got uh, AFC of Paul at eighth and Presswich seventh, so similar sort of teams to you anyway. Yeah, they're the teams you'd really expect to finish around that level, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. And they're just off the 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 sort of elite, if you will, of the teams that are, that, that have come down. And there's a lot of yeah. them that have come down that you'd expect to be straight back up there again with the budgets they've got. So um, sixth, first of those promoted teams, um, I've put uh, I've put Withenshaw. Um, so yeah, I don't I think I don't know why. Again, just vibes. I think they're always sort of up there. Um, I think they could potentially finish up there again, maybe sort of sort of push for playoffs. I don't know, but if they've lost sort of the players that, you know, we're saying they have, you know, they might fall off a bit and into that sort of uh, sort of seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth sort of bracket. Um, and then above them, I've got Colm. So in sixth place, I've got the other within Shaw. Uh, you oh, said yeah. we'll touch them um later on so it's um thought i'd mention them because i can see them being dark horses you know this season um came up from the division one south last year um and then suddenly out of nowhere sasha lord the nightlife bloke in manchester um announces that he's uh he's become the chairman don't know how much money he's pumping in relative to what's required to mount any sort of challenge in the northwest counties but i think if he is backing them financially a little bit I, I can see them being dark horses this season. They, they may fall off completely and, and it may be, I may look like an idiot here by the end of the season, but I'm going to stick my neck on the line and back with Inshore for a, a good season and put them in sick. Yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of doing these sort of predictions. Where no doubt one of us, if not both of us, will end up with egg on our face in nine, ten months' time when we when we look back at this. But you've got to stick, stick your neck on the line for good content. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Um, and then just, just above Withenshaw, um, I've put Scamelsdale as, as fifth place. Um, right. There could be arguments for them to be higher, um, but there's, there's some good teams that have come down um, and they just happen to fall in fifth place. It, it's, it's nothing personal um, against Scamelsdale, um, but that they're my fifth place team. Yeah, so um, I said um, Colm fifth, then going up from there, uh, Rams bottom fourth, and Glossop North End, North End third um, again, really with the with second, third, fourth, fifth, you can really interchange them because other than the top two for me, in in my opinion, that they're, they're all teams that have that have um, that have come down similar strengths. Obviously, I saw them all last season um, following Clitheroe, and they're all sort of much of a muchness. Um, you know they'll they'll retain some they'll recruit some yeah it's really difficult to tell with, with that sort of part of the league where, where any of those are, are going to come I think maybe yeah I think Glossop just drawing a name out of a hat would probably finish top of that little playoff pile there but yeah it's so hard to tell yeah it is so hard I mean I put Rams bottom fourth myself um and I've got Colin in third um just because um I, I quite like Colne. Yeah. Um there's a nice ground to go to. Um and I, I think they'll probably come in, in third place. Um so that you say yeah, leave these are top two then, doesn't it now? Yeah, um touching back on Colne, obviously they're Clitheroe's rivals. So um it was I'm not I wouldn't say amusing because you never want to see a, a club go through what Colne have gone through. And to be honest, I, I'm gonna miss the local derby. Clitheroe don't have any derby now in our league, so I kind of want them to bounce back up for that reason. But um I, I just think there was a there's a bit of turmoil sort of off the pitch last season with their owners. I don't really know too much of the details. I wouldn't really want to speculate either, but I know they've gone fan owned for the new season and uh, they've got Paul Weller, I believe, who's in permanent charge um, managerially. So, um, and he seemed to get a decent tune out of them for the last seven games last season after Phil Brown went. So uh, by all means, I could see them, I could see them up there. Would I would not be surprised at all if they finish second or third, but it is just sort of luck of the draw. But so top two, um, who, who have you gone second? 
So second place, uh, it leaves me with Glossop. Um, and again, we could talk all day with similar reasons in terms of, of those relegated teams that have come down um, purely because you know, they came down via a, an interstep playoff. So that was kind of the reasoning that I think they'll probably do the best out of the relegated teams. Yeah, I think was it um, Ashington they lost 3 0 to on uh, at home as well, even. I think. Yeah, it was at home, yeah. Yeah, they had a bit of a mare in that one, but um, I, I wasn't expecting them to go down. To be honest with you, um, when I looked at it at the start of the season, I think I believe I predicted them to uh, to just about stay up. Um, but yeah, surprised they went. Um, I think they brought in I think it's Michael Worthington. I want to say his name is. Forgive me if I've got that wrong, but he's um, he was uh, assistant coach at Clitheroe last season mm. as well. So should be in safe hands managerial wise. Um, Second place, I've gone with Skelmsdale. I think, obviously, both knew from the get-go who we were both going to put first. It's pretty much a, uh, <laughs> a no-brainer almost, isn't it? It feels like. But Skelmsdale, I've put them second. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I-, I would be surprised, but also not at the same time if they did push on to win the league because of how well they finished last season in the um, in the league above. Um they, I think they finished about 11th, I want to say, maybe even top half finish. 11, 11, yeah. They only went down due to ground grading issues, um, the ground not being fit for purpose. Um, and it would have been witness otherwise had they gone through the um, the interstep playoff. So I, honestly, I don't, I don't, unless they lose a massive bulk of their squad and they're in disarray, I wouldn't be surprised to see Skelmsdale right up there, but obviously that leaves us with um, what what feels like almost a foregone conclusion. <laughs> but you never know. It's Berry in first. <laughs> it is Berry in first. Yeah, um, and, and there's a million reasons as to why as well. The, it's, it's the ground. It's it's the backing they've got now. It's the recruitment. It's the project. Everything about Berry screams a club that wants to move through leagues quickly. And I think it's going to start next season. Yeah, I, I don't see any different, to be honest with you. Um, even just the gig lane factor, they're going to be getting 1,000 plus, you know, even going on more and more. You don't know how much of that that impact can have on a team. You saw it with Macclesfield when they were in the Northwest Counties, filling out near enough their stadium in a big ground, attracting big name players, you know, this, just some of the players that they've signed and even the ones that they've retained from AFC. It's just boggles find the it's not even like a the chucking loads of money at it, it seems, even though they'll they'll have money through gate receipts, all that sort of stuff, and they've got the backing, but every everything points towards them winning the league and potentially quite comfortably as well. But yeah, never, certainly. Never know. But I think they I think they would have won it last year. If it wasn't for the congestion, the pile up of fixtures towards the end of the season, obviously right. sharing uh, sharing Radcliffe's ground. Mm-hmm. Um I, if it wasn't for that, I think they would have clinched it last season too. Um, but I think this year all the stars have aligned for Barry to to really dominate the league. Um, but that's something else that we can come back to in April and laugh at if they don't. <laughs> yeah, imagine now they uh, they go down with Bursco. <laughs> God. <laughs> Genuinely though, I like I've I've been to watch I went to watch AFC quite a few times. Mm-hmm. Brilliant people involved at the club and everything. And I, I'm looking for I'm sure I'm gonna get to some games at Gig Lane, doing some vlogs there at uh, when the new season gets gets going. But yeah, wouldn't be surprised at all to see them up there with um a pretty big total. But should we move on and quickly cover the um the north and south? divisions as well just touch on who we think is going to go up automatically and then who could be in the hunt for playoffs as well yeah of course um do you want to go north or south first Robbie yeah we'll start north um so who do you think we'll start with playoff contenders who do, who do you think could be in that sort of uh that four behind the champions um so just looking at sort of last season's table and who was in that in that area then um I do fancy the likes of Steeton uh, and Ilkley, Holcroft boys to, to up there. Um, a little outside bet is uh, Bay Cup as well. Mm. Um, I saw them in the two cup finals they played in at the end of last season and um, gave a good account of themselves when they lost to Congleton um, in the cup that covers all the divisions. And when they the, the first division cup 
when they beat Ellesmere, um, they look very, very good. So I, I do think they've got potential to, to be in the playoffs and really be in the mix next season. Yeah, I mean, my knowledge, once it gets down to this level of football, is pretty shocking, I've got to be honest. So a lot of these are just stabs, at the mm-hmm. dark, stabs in the dark, um, just purely based on teams that I've seen before and enjoyed watching. Um, I've gone Runcorn Town. I think they could be up there. Ashton Athletic too. I believe they're the two sides coming down from the Premier Division. So you've got to probably give them a chat. Am I right in saying that? Run Run with their last season in oh, the division um, one North last season. Yeah, but <laughs> Ash, Ashton came down. Um, yes, and I didn't actually see them last season. Um, I don't. I don't think they were. They didn't really go down with much of a fight. So I don't know how well they'll do next year, but you never know if they can bring a few players in. They could definitely be up there. Yeah, I mean, so I've gone, yeah, Runcorn, Ashton, Holker as well. I've gone same as you. And then I put AFC Blackpool in there. No, Again, no reasoning behind it. Seen them play a few times. But again, you say you touched on Bake Up. Um, I, I think they they could do something. Um, like you said, they had those impressive cup, fi- uh, cup runs, cup final as well. Um, I don't think they finished that, Highly in the league, if I remember. They're about 12th, 13th. Definitely a cup team last year. Yeah, they had a lot of fixture congestion, though, I believe. They, I remember yeah. them having seeming to have a postponement every single week. I, it's a wonder they had they got those games finished in the end. But, yeah, they, they could potentially be up there. But, um, champions, what, what are you thinking? Um, I've gone FC St. Helens for champions. Um, defeat a playoff finalist last year. Gave a good account of themselves in the final when I watched them against Shadowton. Um, so I fancy them to, to go up next year. Yeah, exactly the same for me. St. Helens, um, the same reasoning as well. Losing mm-hmm. out last season, I think they'll they'll go on and do it um, do it this season. Looking at the South Division, um, who do you think are the uh, the runners and riders for playoffs? Um, so I fancy Sandbach to be back in the playoffs again as they were last year. Um, obviously, defeat your playoff finalists against Cheadle. Um, I've gone for Droylsden uh, to be up there as well. Um, interesting how they get on um, because of obviously reforming and starting again. Um, New Mills, who were a pretty, pretty good team. Um, they were challenging West Isbury and Shorten for a lot of the, um, the season a couple of years ago when West went up as, uh, as champions and then New Mills lost in the final of the playoffs against Alamann. So I fancy them to be up there. Um, and a bit of an outside shout is Stockport Georgians. Um, great okay. setup there. Um, good young side. Um, it was the first season in that at that level last year, um, and didn't didn't did quite a good job actually. Um, they finished just outside the playoffs, so I reckon um, this this season they could be up there. Yeah, interesting shout. I've gone for a rogue shout in mine. I've gone mm-hmm. Cheadle Heath Nomads. I think they could be maybe up there just because I think another Cheadle team deserves to go up. I, literally, mm-hmm. that's the only reason behind it. They weren't, far, they weren't far away last season they from the playoffs. Yeah, they, they weren't too far off. So I think why not? It's it, Again, it, it's so difficult to predict that level because anyone could, could be up there. <laughs> really, but um, I've gone Sandbach again. I think they'll finish playoffs again as they did. Um, Royalsden, I fancy them. I nearly put Droylsden winning the league, you know, just because of that again, that feel good factor around them yeah. coming back. They'll have big crowds, all this sort of stuff. But I think it might just be they might need a season just to sort of um acclimatize before really pushing on. But I, I think they will do very well. And I'm looking forward to going back there again because um, I was at the last ever game at, at their wow. ground. Uh, they played Clotheroe. Um, and it's been, yeah, quite interesting to see them coming back. So, yeah, I'll be sure to uh, to make a visit to uh, their ground when they play next season. But um, last one I've gone for, um, Stockport Town. I know they finished with a really high tally last season, didn't they? Was it something like 90 odd? Points and they, were, they were unlucky last season not, not yeah, to go up. Second. Yeah. Um you'd probably think they would be the team that goes up, but um I think they might just if they're gonna go up, I think it'll be playoffs, um, potentially, but I think it might knock them a little bit that getting so close and not quite doing it last season. Um, but who are your uh, who are your champions for this for this league? Or well, believe it or not, stop, uh, Robbie, the Stockport Town. They're my champions. Yeah, I thought, I thought you'd say that. <laughs> yeah. I, I did back them last year to win the league. Um, I did fancy them last year. Um, 
they, they didn't quite do the job, but it was again, it was because of within Shaw's um within Shaw's incredible um points tally that, that denied them. Yeah. I think this year they'll get the job done. I don't know too much about recruitment and who they brought in, who's gone, but if they've kept the core of that squad, I don't see any reason why they can't win the league. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit uh, silly about not putting them to, to win it now, to be fair. Looking at it, finishing with the points tally they did, you, you would back them to go again. And I feel like this is a rogue shout, but <laughs> I've got my reasonings. I've gone for Winsford. Um, obviously, they've had to step down a bit, haven't they? Um, they've had, uh, sort of decided to, to relegate themselves to this level after in protest almost to being moved to the to the Midlands setup. So I think with them sort of being a, a premier setup, I, I could just see them almost out of frustration going on and and winning and winning the league. Cause if they managed to keep a hold of their squad, they weren't a bad side last season in the Premier, I seem to remember. I I, I could see them winning it. What what do you think? Am I am I talking Winsford's not, Winsford could be competitive next season. Yeah, it's a it's a case of can can they keep hold of of that squad? Um, the only thing worth checking though, I'd have to double check it myself, um, is whether or not there was a um, an agreement in terms of promotion for Winsford if they oh. can go up next year. Um, if they are actually allowed to, I'm sure there's a condition um, in terms of their voluntary relegation that they couldn't get promoted next season. Um, so that if they could win the league, don't get me yeah, wrong. By all means, um, I think they'll be. But, but I, I don't think it will actually side. amount to anything in terms of their progression up the pyramid. But we'll have to check that one. I yeah, that's remember. an interesting one. I didn't. I didn't see that. I remember reading about the um, about the relegation, but I never. I don't remember seeing anything in terms of a clause. But you, you, you might well be correct, and people will correct me in the comments. Um, <laughs> no, no doubt if I've if I've got that one wrong. But like like you say, there's nothing to say that they couldn't win the league. Um, but yeah, they might just not be able to go up. You never know. But I think the safe bet, like you say, probably Stockport Town to to win the league. Um, but like like I say, we'll have to we'll have to see with these um, as you get down to the north and south northwest counties divisions. It's it's so hard to to say who who could finish anywhere. Uh, but you, you never know. We'll, we'll look back on these, like we say, in in nine ten months time and um, roll our eyes at. How how uh, we didn't predict Bursco to win the league. <laughs> but, Can I make um, one road shout for the uh, the Division One North? Sorry, go for it. One, yeah, one road shout. Um, I don't know how well they'll, they'll do. I have no information at all about the club. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing Route One Rovers in action yeah. next season. <laughs> surely, surely for the name. I don't know if they're any good. I don't know if their playing style uh, reflects their name. Um, but if I go to a game and they start playing it on the floor, I'll be walking out in protest. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it's, I saw them when I was looking at the table and I just thought, hold on, is that someone's five-a-side team that they've put in the league? It is for a very, day? It's very Powell League, isn't it? <laughs> it's very Powell League. I might give them a call, see if I can get a game. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, but do it. To be fair, with all due respect to them, I know we shouldn't, Take the mick. They're they're there for the they're there for a reason, and they're on merit, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're there on merit, and you know you never know. They could, you just don't know. That. I keep saying this, but you just don't know. They could finish playoffs because of that momentum. You see yeah. it time and time <laughs> again. Teams coming through the league because it's one promotion after another, and they just you know often they're they're backed well, but there's so much momentum can do for a team, and I think all power to a team like Route One. Rovers that you know you they'll sort of be like one of the neutral favorites I imagine that a team that nobody's heard of coming up and they'll give it a bloody good go I imagine I'm sure they will you wouldn't apply to just take part in step six if you weren't ready to compete no. uh, there's no point coming up if you're going to come straight down again they must be ready they must feel like they can bring something to the league and I hope they do I really do yeah I mean I, I'm sure that's Let's uh, put an idea in my mind for a vlog this season, go and watch Route 1 Rovers. And uh, I'm sure that would be a good collab for us to do if we don't do a, uh, a West one at some point. Go and uh, go and report on, um, on Route 1 Rovers. But, I'd be uh, so up for that. That'd be a fantastic we'll, day out. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there. Um, like I said, it'd be so funny to look back on this um, when the time comes around. But so thank you for coming on. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah.
step six and um yeah we'll we'll see how it all unfolds so guys there you have it those were my pre-season predictions for the northwest counties let me know in the comments what you thought of mine and joe's predictions and where you think your team will finish this season as always if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one